A warm and muggy spell today leads to thunderstorms overnight into tomorrow, but after that it looks like we're descending into the depths of later autumn, with the temperatures really starting to fall. The high temperatures today though, in London 21 degrees, which of course is way above average for this time of year, and 20 degrees in many places along the area around the east of England, East Anglia. The low temperatures weren't very low either, 11 in Glenogle under a bit of rain, uh, temperatures also 11 degrees in Lowick on the uh, Shetland Islands. Temperatures weren't far higher elsewhere. Uh, weather advisories out right now. We've got some uh, strong winds potentially across the western coast of Scotland and Northern Ireland with those thunderstorms developing overnight, perhaps in southern Scotland, but definitely in the southwestern part of England and Wales. Also, Ireland will get a little bit of that as we move in through the night hours. It's that area behind that main part that you saw there. You can see on the left-hand side at the 6 a.m. picture, uh, temperatures dropping in Scotland, no down to 8 degrees. They're really going to start to see the uh, cold temperatures come in tomorrow. And look at those winds, of course, they'll cause some wind chill as well. But you can see that uh, band moving through England there throughout Wednesday. There's three bands, to be fair, by that point. And there it is right now, the northern one. Behind that is a lot of cold air. Uh, so that will be reducing those temperatures throughout the day, actually, for the northern part of Scotland. And in fact, uh, more widespread parts of Scotland really uh, but high temperatures you can expect around 11 or 12 degrees 12 degrees in Northern Ireland and uh, 13 perhaps the high in the Republic also 13 degrees in Wales and still uh, warmer temperatures down south 17 is the expected high in the Greater London area uh, throughout the course of Wednesday uh, for the most part there, uh, in between those two areas, a decent weather there in uh, main, uh, the southern and central part of England. Uh, so could be a decent day behind that rain that moves in in the morning. Uh, looking at those winds again, it is a windy affair for many areas, even some places inland there uh, in parts of England and Wales. Uh, so certainly I don't think we'll be seeing uh, very um, warm conditions prevailing because of that wind chill. That rain moves through there, southern part of England getting a lot of it overnight and those temperatures you can see just how it's fallen everywhere behind that band uh, with all of that air coming from the north down to 4 degrees in some um, large areas in Scotland and much lower uh, over the mountains. Thursday's temperatures, let's take a look at this. Uh, light rain prevailing by the looks of things there uh, with partly cloudy conditions so scattered showers by the looks of things. Uh, some areas not getting up above 7 degrees on Thursday which is uh, it will feel pretty wintry if that's the case. 9 in Glasgow, 10 in Belfast which is uh, uh, the whole of Ireland actually looking pretty clear. England and Wales looking pretty good as well, maybe a little bit of rain off the northwest and over the Isle of Man. Uh, but generally a decent day uh, but it will probably feel windswept and certainly not very warm with high temperatures of 12 degrees which certainly might be a shock to the system after recent temperatures. Coastal areas will be the areas that really get uh, the wind conditions. It'll be all along those areas where those uh, wind speeds will be getting up. Here's the map. You can see all of the North Sea there uh, getting gale force wind gusts and out into the Atlantic as well. But calm conditions in the south and southwest of England, Wales and Ireland. So cloudiness moving through during those evening hours, although as you can see it's pretty scattered and not much rain inside that. You can see there coming into the early hours of Friday morning, a pretty decent picture there, but a pretty cold night once again, not quite as cold as the previous night. And on Friday, uh, looking like a decent day, no precipitation by the looks of things, uh, partly cloudy is generally the order of the day there. So it's a general pattern of conditions getting colder and it will feel a lot more like the later part of autumn, I'm pretty sure by the time we get to the end of this week.